Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Wednesday, February 17th. The fire marshal's office is investigating after a car fire in Philadelphia's Kensington neighborhood. Firefighters found a body in the driver's seat burned beyond recognition. The car was parked on the sidewalk at the Frankfurt Avenue and Belmore Street, Belmore Street intersection. Meanwhile, rescue crews got 11 people to safety after a water main break in North Philadelphia. A 48-inch main near 29th and Hunting Park Avenue in Nicetown broke just before 6 o'clock last night. Crews had to rescue 10 people trapped in a U-Haul facility and one more person from a car. And it is demolition day at the former Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino. As part of last-minute preparations, workers put up a protective coating covering on a building next door. The 39-story building comes down at 9 o'clock this morning. Trump Plaza Casino opened back in 1984 and closed in 2014. Now let's get a check of our forecast. It's a cold one and snow on the way, Larissa. That is absolutely right, Janelle. Spring just couldn't get here any faster, any quicker. 31 more days though left of it. So we have to stick with this winter weather that has been completely brutal across the region this past February. 32 degrees will be the daytime high later today. We're going to be watching an increase in cloud cover. It'll be breezy today with winds out of the northwest between 10 and 15 miles an hour. And that'll keep our wind chills in the 20s during the majority of this Wednesday. Now by Thursday, here comes our next winter. Storm. You can see that snow overspreading the region here Thursday morning. So during the morning rush, snow will be falling and it becomes heavier and thicker as the day goes on. By between the hours of 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., we're going to see some pretty heavy snow out there. In fact, snow rates can top out at one inch per hour. That's a lot of snow that's going to reduce visibility, make things quite tricky as far as traveling is, is concerned. And then snow begins to thin out as we approach the evening and over. Overnight hours, we eventually do dry out, Janelle, just in time for the weekend. All right, Larissa, thank you. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That is the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great day.